Today I'm going to be reviewing the book The Other Boleyn Girl by Philippa Gregory and um, this is one of my first Philippa it actually is one of the first Philippa Gregory books that I read and the reason that I really started what really started with this one it was because um, I had to do a project for for school and we had to choose a historical fiction novel and then write about it so that's you know that's why I got into her books and I've been a fan ever since um, this book starts off when Mary is 12 years old and she's just married and it starts off when she is watching the execution of her, um, I guess it would be her uncle, the Duke, the Duke of Buckingham, and, um, the story is about her, it's about her, but she's actually a lady-in-waiting to Queen Catherine, and then she becomes a lady-in-waiting to her sister, Queen Anne, when she becomes queen. And I don't think I'm giving anything away, because this is history, um, and the book ends at the with the wedding of Jane Seymour. Um, now I really really like this book. I read it on audio, and the audio version is very good. Um, um, I really loved because I think you don't really see a lot of novels or books in general about Mary Boleyn is always about Anne um, which is kind of understandable because Mary really didn't play that big part in history and in those times you know women weren't really noted in history it was all about men so that's understandable so this is really the first time I think that a book has been written about Mary, and it's through the point of Mary Bowen, which is kind of interesting, and, um, now a lot of people don't like this book because of historical inaccuracies, um, like for one thing, in the book, in the novel, they make Mary younger, and in reality she was probably the oldest because she was married first, and that's how they did it. Um, but, I mean, who, who really cares? It's, it's a novel. And, um, another thing is, um, they, they also made her marry this virgin, uh, woman that, virgin girl, I should think, she's 12, um, who was inexperienced about, things and all that, but in real life, she was really, um, doing things with, um, the, the king of France and his court, so she was very, she was very loose, and things of that nature, um, so that was kind of, um, it didn't really bother me because I didn't know that when I read it, and then I read it, and then I read that in another biography, so it didn't really bother me, um, but, again, it's a novel, so, um, that's one of the big things that people have issues with, and you can look on Wikipedia and see that they had issues with that, but, you know, if she wants to do that, and that's, it's her, it's her novel, it's her novel, so that's fine. Um, I thought the story was really interesting in this book, and I go back to it a lot, I read it a lot, because I really enjoy it, um, and I also, one thing I, a couple things I did not like about the book is, I didn't like the way Anne was portrayed. She was kind of, she was very mean. It's like, ugh. 
and she um you know she was very mean and she used her in the book she used her power and her that she had to do things to even members of her own family which I was like uh okay that's not nice you know um but overall it's a fairly good book and I recommend it to anybody that's into this genre and um, if you like if you're really into this genre and you're really into this time period I recommend it and she has and Philip Gregory has so many books out um, and it's She's a really, I think she's a really good author. So, check it out. Bye.